When writing a linear equation in point-slope form, we want to use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So in order to do that, we want to go through and we want to find the slope and we want to identify a point so that we can write our equation. In the first problem, it says write the equation of a line that passes through the point 9, negative 4 and has a slope of 5. So the first thing we're going to do is identify the slope and it's given to us right here. So this equation is going to have a slope of 5. Now the second part is to identify a point, and we already know that the point we want our line to pass through is 9, negative 4. So then the last step is just to write the equation using y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now when we write our equation, we leave the y, and then our point becomes our x1, y1. So we're going to substitute in a negative 4 for y1. So what's going to end up happening is when we substitute it in where there's already a subtraction here, it's going to become positive. And then we're going to substitute in our 5 for m, and then x minus our x1, and our x1 is 9. So our equation in point-slope form would be y plus 4 equals 5 times x minus 9. Now we can also find an equation in point-slope form from a graph. The first thing that we want to do is always identify that slope. So look for some perfect points. So what we mean by perfect points is they need to intersect sort of at the corner of one of these grid boxes here on that coordinate plane. And then just work your way down the line until you find another perfect point, like so. So we're going to do our rise over run, so we're going up four, and we're running over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that means our slope is going to be 4 over 6, which reduces down to 2 thirds. So we're going to use a slope of 2 thirds. Now the second part is to identify that point. Now a line is made up of an infinite number of points, so technically you could have an infinite amount of equations to represent this same line. So all you want to do is again just pick a perfect point, I'm going to use the point 6, 3 as my point, but you really could use any other point along the line to write your equation. And then finally, we're going to substitute all those values in, letting our point be our x1, y1, our slope is 2 thirds, and we're going to substitute this into that point slope form. So we're going to have y minus 3 equals 2 thirds times x minus 6. And that's how you write an equation in point-slope form.